This week marks five years since the devastating earthquake in Haiti. Right now you're looking at images of devastation from 2010. Now the quake left tens of thousands of children orphans. And as we take a closer look this morning, there are a total of 500,000 orphans in Haiti. More than 50% of the population is under the age of 15. And nearly 80% of the country is jobless. With that said, children are often overlooked, and that is why a benefit concert is taking place in Austin tonight at the Paramount Theater to help those who cannot speak for themselves. Special music guests Brett Young and Colby Calais will even be there. To help bring in these donations tonight here to explain how you can help is Mike Wilson, the CEO of My Life Speaks. And you teamed up with Dell Children's for this big event happening tonight. Yes, ma'am, we did. We're so very excited about it. Tell that. me what is in store and how can people go? Well, first of all, they can go uh, on to our website, mylifespeaks.com, and they can get tickets um, for this event. And what will happen tonight is it will be not only a music night, a night for some amazing music from Brett Young to Colby Calais to Hillary Scott, Lady Antebellum, Ryan Griffin, Kelsey Ballerini, uh, but they'll also be able to, to hear what happens with what we're doing in Haiti. And our partnership with Dell Children's has allowed us to build a clinic in our village that literally is changing our community through public health. Wow, you say our village. Have you been there yourself? Yes, my wife and I actually live in the country of Haiti full time with four of our five kids. Our mm -hmm. oldest is in college, but uh, we are there full time and we have the opportunity to see on a daily basis how our clinic affects the people in our village called Nepali in Haiti. Paint us a picture of what a normal day is like there. Uh, it's a little warmer than it is today. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, I brought a little heat with me, it yeah. seems like. Uh, but we work uh, with children, everything from feeding programs for kids who don't eat on a regular basis. We work with kids um, who uh, are at risk. In other words, older kids or who, children who may not have a family that takes care of them. But our greatest goal is that we would use the special needs thread to weave our way through everything. Our goal is to help individuals with special needs experience everything life has to offer. And in a country like Haiti, a child with special needs is often discarded. Mm -hmm. And so we work through education, we work through public health, and we work through orphan care to make sure that what we do is to influence Haiti in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. What drew you and your family to this calling? Uh, we visited, I visited Haiti for the first time in 2003. I took my wife in 2006 for the first time. And we have a son with severe special needs, so we were kind of drawn to see how children like that were, were treated. Uh, and we said, if we're going to make a difference, we're going to have to roll up our sleeves and we're going to have to do something ourselves. Mm -hmm. so. And then the earthquake hit. Yeah. And obviously lots of benefits were happening oh, around yes. that time. And now it's really been forgotten as if the problem problems don't exist there anymore. Right. And, and we have a lot of people come onto our campus in Haiti and they ask us, is Haiti fixed? Uh, and the reality is it's back to where it was physically pre-earthquake, but there are a lot of issues. There are a lot of problems. And so uh, rather than just stand and, and yell and say, this is what you need to do, we want to live beside people and say, let us live our life beside you and we'll work together to make Haiti a better place. Mm -hmm. So again, you mentioned you can go to your website. We're yes, going to have a link to your website on our website when we put this interview up okay. a little bit later this morning. Again, the uh, concert itself starts at 7 o'clock tonight. Yes. The tickets are $45, and of yes. course, a lot of that is, is a donation yes. Yes. Uh, to the work going on over there. Th that money actually goes to help our public health initiative. Our, uh, our medical director, Dr. Kobe Allen from Dell Children's, is an amazing man. He and his wife, Sue, have put this event on for us. Uh, but everything that happens tonight goes straight to Haiti to help us change the entire village of Nepali. Awesome, Mike. Thank you for what you're doing, and thank, thank you, you for being here with us this morning. Thank you. All right, again, that information is going to be on our website at kxan.com.